is a slick 4309 magneto. Um, first step for timing the magneto to the engine is to check the internal timing for the magneto. The first step to doing so is to insert the timing pin. Um, first we need to figure out what the direction of rotation is. We check on the data plate and this one has a little L which indicates that it's the left rotating. And so then we go and put the timing pin into the hole on the magneto labeled L. If needed, you can rotate the um, rotor shaft to get it so that it fits in all the way. After you have the pin in place, you're going to go and connect the color cables on your timing light to the P-lead, making sure that the color cables are not connected to ground, and then you want to take the black lead and connect that to somewhere on ground on the magneto. Then you're going to turn on the timing light and ensure that it's just starting to go off like that with a slight rotation of the rotor with the pin still in place. So the next step is to prepare the engine to receive the spark. The first thing you need to do is find compression stroke on cylinder number one. So you'll first remove the spark plug, which we've already done, then you'll uh, put your thumb to cover up the spark plug hole, then you'll rotate the propeller until you find compression. Are we on compression? Not yet? No suction. Okay, so once you're on the compression stroke, you're ready to make sure that it's set to the proper number of degrees before top dead center. Okay, so once you find, once you've found compression and you've gotten to top dead center on compression, you want to rotate the prop in the opposite direction of rotation, and you want to rotate it a little past the proper number of degrees before top dead center and that's just to get rid of gear lash and then you'll rotate it back in the normal direction of rotation until you get to the proper number of degrees before top dead center in this case it's 22 degrees ready? okay so now we're ready to put the magneto on the engine so first we want to put the timing pin in to make sure that the magneto is prepared to send the spark so, Dietz, go ahead and put it on the engine. <laughs> okay, now that you have the magneto loosely attached to the engine, what you want to do is remove the timing pin out of the magneto. After that is done, you want to hook up the timing light to the magneto. You want two of the leads to be on the P-lead and the other one to be on ground. The ground can either be on the magneto or on the case of the engine because they are electrically connected. Now what you want to do is turn your timing light on. After the timing light is on, then you want to rotate the magneto to either direction until the timing light goes off and then slowly bring it back until it just barely comes on. After it is on, then you want to tighten the magneto nuts on the sides until they are tight into the proper torque. Okay, now that the magneto is torqued to the engine, what you want to do is look at the propeller flange marks to make sure that it is still properly aligned at the 22 degrees before top dead center on compression stroke. After you have verified that, then you want to move the propeller until the timing light is just going off, making sure to get rid of gear lash as you're doing this. And once it is aligned and the timing light barely goes off, then you want to look underneath at the propeller flange and verify that the timing is plus or minus 2 degrees of 22 degrees before top dead center.